In today's Photoshop lesson, we want to learn how to remove private information from our photos, especially the camera details. You might want to put an image on the web or send it to someone, but you really don't want them to see the X of data. You can remove this data a couple different ways. Today, I'll show you some easy ways in Photoshop to remove data from your images. So here we have an image. Let's first check the X of data. So we go to File, and then see where it says right down here? File Info, the shortcut, Alt, Shift, Control, I on a Mac. Command, Option, Shift, I. OK. Click on that. Up comes this dialog box. Here's the author's name and copyright information and then the camera detail. So we know this camera was shot with an EOS 5D Mark II. Even has the serial number. The lens that was used. The focal length that was shot at. 125th of a second. F9. ISO 200. This flash did not fire. Okay, that's some of the data we might not want to pass along. And also, if we click on the raw data, there is just a ton of stuff under the raw data. So we might want to hide some of this or all of it. So let me cancel this for now. And here's the easiest way I found to do that. If we go up to File, now we're going to go down here to Export. Now I'm going to click on Export As. Export As. Click on that, and up comes a dialog box. There it comes. Export as. Where should we start? Let's start on this site over here. Now you can see that its its format is set for JPEG now, but it defaults as a PNG. But I changed it to JPEG. Quality 100. You can change that too. You can go from 10 to 100. Okay, and then this is the size of the image. That's the default size. You can scale it if you want. You can actually make it smaller. If I go here and click like 50%, now everything's half the size as it was. If you want to reduce the size, uh, we'll leave it at 100. Or you can make it bigger so you can go up to 500. Okay. And the resample method is bicubic automatic. That's a good one. And if you want to change this canvas size, you can do that. Now, in this case, I'll show you what the, what would happens if we change the canvas size. It's at 3245. Let's add oh 200 pixels on that. So let's make it 3445. And 19 plus 2 is 21. There, I think I got it right that time. Okay. Now you can see. Computer's taking a little bit. With the bigger canvas size, it actually puts a border around your photo. So now here's the part with the metadata. This is the part we wanted to get rid of. If you wanted to have no information, you click on none. If you want just copyright, that was that first page, but had the uh, author's name and stuff like that, and contact information, you leave that checked here. So let's leave that checked and see what happens. We we'll can convert it to sRGB. That's good, especially if you're going to put it on the web. And if you want, you can embed a color profile, and if the other computer can read it. That will be good. Now we can also go over here and um, change the size. This is the uh, the first one is one time, so no change. The surface is uh, here. Let me click on plus. We can make a second one. This is going to be half the size, and the surface is going to be at 0.5x. So we're going to actually going to make two, the, the original one, and then one half the size. So this is really pretty easy to figure out. Oh, let me show you one more thing. See the zoom here? If I click on the zoom, let's see, I zoom way in. Uh, let's get some part. Um, I guess the teeth will work. Remember when we were picking? the quality this is at 100 percent you can see what it looks like if we change this to 10 percent it's going to redraw it and show you what a 10 percent jpeg is going to look like this is a big image so it's taken a while to do it 
there we go. Now you can see the teeth look completely different when the, the equality is set for 10%. So let's leave that back at 100%, and that looks a lot better. Okay, and we're zoomed in, by the way, to 400%, so that's really big. Okay, well, I'm going to just zoom this back a little bit. And that's it. Now we're just going to export all. Okay, and it's asking where do you want to export these to. Let's go to this drive, and we'll put it in this number one folder. Okay, we'll say select folder number one. That's good. Now it's doing all the work for us. Okay, it's done. So let's go check that other folder that it put these images in and see if there's something there. I'll go to... There we go. Now we're in that number one folder, and here's the image right here. Now this is that's a full-size one. See, it's 34 by 40... 34, it's over 3,000 pixels. This one's only 17. It's half the size. Anyway, let's bring this into Photoshop. Now, this is going to stop off in Adobe Camera Raw. And, oh, it looks like we left the border on. Oh, that's okay. I just remembered, if you ever want to flip this thing over, I don't know if you've seen this before, but if you hold the Alt key down, these change, and you can kind of flip your image over. Um... And while you're at it, you can even flip it sideways. So I don't think we want to do that right now. So I'll put them back. Anyway, let's open them up in Photoshop. Okay, now there's our image. Now remember, we want to check to see if this image has the camera information. So we're going to go to, let's just take the shortcut. Remember what it was? Shift, Control, Alt, I. That's a fast way to get there. Oh, look, that's the raw data, and that's still there. So it still has the raw data. If we go to basic, it has the name. Remember, we tell it, leave the name in there. And then the camera data is gone. So that's one way to remove the camera data from your photo. I'll just say OK. OK, let's go back to the original photo that came in. Let me show you another way. This time we go to File, Export, just like we did before. But this time, there's a quick export as JPEG. The only thing you have to do before you use this is you might want to go down to Export Preferences. We'll click on that first. And here you can set the preferences of how you want the JPEG exported. So we got a JPEG, quality 85. That's probably OK. It's gonna, we have the box checked to ask where you want to export each time. And let's see, in copyright and contact information, this time, just for the heck of it, let's turn that off. We'll put none. See if it takes away everything. We'll convert it to sRGB. That's all we have to do. Now that we've told it what to do, we'll say OK. And then a quick way to get rid of that data is to go to File, Export, Export as JPEG. Boom. Now, remember, we asked us where we wanted to put it, and we'll put it the same place. That was in this J drive, number one folder. I think we're going to have the same name. I better give this a new name, CR2. And we'll say save. And it's done. So let's tab back over there. And there it is. So let's see, got rid of the information. I'm going to bring this into Photoshop. It's going to stop off Adobe Camera Raw. We're just going to go ahead and open it up this time. And there it is. Remember the shortcut key? It was the whole left side, Shift, Control, Alt, I. Uh, the camera information is gone. Camera data, gone. Basic. Uh, it's pretty well gone too. Well, it's all gone. And raw data is still there. Okay. So we got rid of everything except the raw data. Let me show you one more way that works every time. And it's fast. Let's get a new image. I'm going to click here, bring up a new image. Let's record this as an action so we can do it instantly from now on. 
we're going to go down here and click on create new action we're going to call it remove info okay my action set is correct uh, function key 12 let's make it a shift F12 and the color is yellow we can use that in button mode remember we'll click on record okay we're now we're ready to go first thing we're going to do is flatten these two layers so the easiest way I think to do that is to click on this little button right here scroll down and there's one that says flatten image okay now we just have one layer now I'm going to use shortcut keys but they're very simple I think you should learn these I'm going to hit control A that selects all if you see the marching ants around everything then I'm going to hit control C that's a copy that makes the new copy and copies it into the clipboard then I'm going to contr hit control N now you might not know that one but that makes a new document so there's the new document coming up now it's going to default to the clipboard because we put something in the clipboard and it's the very first icon so we'll just click on that hit enter we're ready to go there's our new document and the last shortcut key is going to be control V as in paste not P but V and there it is we're done now before we forget let's turn off the action we're going to do that right here click on the little stop button and the action's done okay that's it let's see what we have we'll hold down shift control alt I and you'll see that everything is totally empty except everything's empty the raw data just has the little bit of data that we just made but it has nothing to do with the camera info or anything else so we'll say okay so that's another quick way let's see if the action works all we have to do is delete this document so it's gone save changes no this was the original and we want to run this action so we'll click on remove info hit the play button or shift F12 would work and it's done so that was quick and that's the new document without the exit information and all you have to do is save this and send it off well anyway that's it for today I hope you learned something thanks for watching